autonomy, dignity, racial justice, social justice, gender justice. It just couldn't. So for us to be here today and for me to be here and be with you in my home state where you always stand up, I'm so excited and thrilled. And to have representatives from gender justice here and to have Mayor all here and the National Council of Jewish Women are badasses. I just worked with them this spring. And you have a group of people, so definitely sign up at these tables because the directive that they will give you will make you feel like you are part of this democracy. I think so often, if you're like me, part of the reason that I started this organization back in 2012 was I watched this erosion happen in states. I mean, in within a three month period, 27 states just put down this model legislation that shut clinics down everywhere. And the only reason they're open is because we had people on federal benches who said this shit is unconstitutional. And so if we don't have legislative people city council people, school board people, governors, state reps, who are creating proactive legislation, destigmatizing legislation. We are not, we can't call ourselves fighters of human rights if we are not understanding what the importance of that is. But I'm lecturing to you, you guys understand that you are here, thank you. Um, the movement is large and great. And so um, in closing, I just wanna say, um, I'm always proud of my state. I'm always proud of you guys fighting. It makes it, and I say you guys, so we all know that that's not gender, it's just a thing that it's all do, that um, we have to sort of keep to ourselves. Um, but uh, that every day I see something that makes me truly happy. I mean, I opened up the news today with the city pages with a headline that said, American born man attacks a woman. It's like, yes, you know what? It's that kind of shit that I see and I'm like, oh, a young black boy is having a hot dog stand, and when the fucking racist white neighbor calls up, they give him a permit. Thank you, Minnesota. <laughs> yeah, it was great. And so the last thing I will say is, um, in your fight, um, look to see who are the people who are the most affected and try to center those voices. You know, queer people, black and brown people, marginalized individuals, um, center them, find them, invite them into the conversation, and have them be larger voices in all of this. So thank you for having me here. Let's fuck some shit up. Yeah. <laughs>